I was very new to the city. I think I'd only been in the city maybe a month or two. And he had called me and said a gal had dropped out of Broadway by the year 1925, and the Seagulls were looking for a newcomer to replace her. And he called me up, and that was that. And it was my very first New York performance right here at Town Hall. And it was a horrible blizzard where literally we were sold out, but the blizzard stopped everyone from coming. 200 diehard fans showed up, and we did the concert anyway. And it was a tremendous night. And I think they actually redid that concert later when the weather got better. But still, it's one of my best memories because it was my first New York experience. I got to do uh, You Are Woman. And it was so great with Greg Edwin. Uh, it's a part that I played regionally a couple of times. And I'm praying to God that they bring, I'm getting very close to the camera because this is important, that they bring it back. It has been 43 years since they've done Funny Girl on Broadway. L look, look at this mug. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Bring it back. Now I feel that there's a fire, dear. Try that once. A little higher, dear. What a beast to ruin such a pearl. What a convent take a Jewish girl. Doesn't take more explanation than this. So that was swell, and you just got to do a snippet of it. Uh, but it was a good night, and I think that's what lured me in, as they said, you know, we're going to be doing some songs from Funny Girl. So I showed up in my 60s dress. It, the Pirate Queen was certainly a labor of love, I think, for everybody across the board. It ended way too early. Uh, you know, there was... We know it wasn't a perfect show by any means, but it was glorious, and the people in it were glorious, and the talent that was on stage, some of the best I've ever heard, ever worked with. I think there was also a lot of spectacular elements, the costumes, the lighting, the set design, um, and I will miss it. I will miss it greatly. I think uh, our producers came from such a world where, to them, it wasn't about the bottom line or making money. It was about sharing their heritage, the legacy of Grace O'Malley, the beauty of her story to New York City and although the audiences were on their feet every night it was a large show and it took you know people to be in the seats every night paying full ticket price all I know is for me and I think for everybody in the cast it ended far too quickly and yes I'm just, you know what do you say I'm still pretty tender and I think I will be for a while because we just feel like the rug was taken out from you know from our feet but you got to move on so this was a I think a nice way to start healing, quite frankly, to use a, a lack of a better word. I do want to start healing, so coming tonight, performing with you know a new group of people, some really wonderful music, and then um, tomorrow I jump into rehearsals for the reading of 9 to 5, so I'm just going to keep on trucking. It's so interesting because we are going to do it overseas, we're going to get married in Tuscany, so Seb and I, Sebastian Arcellus, um, we are on the internet every hour that we get a chance and we're doing pretty much everything over the internet choosing our wedding invitations the location the photographer speaking with people you know who speak only fluent italian so luckily his mother speaks italian so we get her on a, on a party line and it's hilarious so we kind of have to just do this show up to italy and see what happens i have no idea but as long as he shows up it'll be a good day there will not be the chicken dance, there will not be YMCA, there will not be any numbers from Greece. Summer Lovin' is not happening at my wedding. I'm telling you here right now. So many girls become a sinner. My lady Flora rose big dinner. The most girls slip in ordinarily. I've got style, I do it borderlands. Well, at least he thinks I'm special. He ordered a la carte. It's a fear. Oh, God.